Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Tuesday, April 11th, 2023. I am Mikel Maloney. The Nevis Health Promotion Unit is inviting the general public to the TDC Health Fair slated for Friday, April 15th. Theresa Herbert, Education and Prevention Officer at the Health Promotion Unit, provides the details. The Health Promotion Unit, in collaboration with TDC and Taiwan ICDF, will be hosting the TDC Health Fair this Friday, April 14th, from 9 a.m. through 5 p.m. The event is being held in honor of World Health Day 2023 and in honor of TD's 50th celebration. Herbert outlined some of the services that will be offered at the fair. We are inviting the general public to come out and take advantage of the health services being offered, including health screenings, dental screenings, and rapid HIV testing all being offered free of cost. We are also very excited to have partnered with the Alexandra Hospital Lab to be hosting the first ever blood donor drive. The purpose of the drive being to register more volunteer blood donors that the lab can have access to in times of emergencies. At the event, when someone registers to become a blood donor volunteer, a sample of blood will be taken and the blood group or blood type will be given to the registrant. The sample will be taken back to the lab for further testing. Within a week, if the person is eligible to become a blood donor volunteer, a blood donor card will be issued. The fair will also feature massages and a Zumba session and offer members of the general public information pertaining to their health and well-being. The event will be held from 9 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. on Friday at the Longstone Building parking lot, which is located behind TDC Financial Services adjacent to the Red Cross building. As part of its celebration of Youth Month 2023, the Department of Youth has created a Youth Month film featuring Minister of Youth, the Honorable Troy Liburd. The film brings into sharp focus the chosen theme, which is to inspire, to aspire, depicting the heights that young people can attain when they are motivated and inspired to act. I take this opportunity to send a huge shout out to all of you on the occasion of Youth Month 2023. Youth Month was born out of the desire to focus on the achievements of our young people and increase opportunities intending to benefit our youthful population. It also brings to awareness the issues faced by our young people and find solutions to these challenges. This year, young people are encouraged to take initiative by leading activities that will increase their level of productivity and growth. We are also mindful, however, that our young people are more motivated to act when they feel inspired. For this reason, this year's Youth Month theme is Inspire to Aspire.
I take a moment to salute the staff at the Nevis Department of Youth for their continued effort to uplift our young people. I encourage everyone to support the exciting activities outlined in the action packed calendar of events for Youth Month. My ministry is committed to providing meaningful opportunities to our young people as they are propelled to assume leadership roles, become responsible producers within our society, and pursue their passions. Inspire to aspire. The Department of Youth expresses gratitude to Samaya Ford, Leon Silcott and Davian Griffin, Aaliyah Powell, Michelle Dorr, the staff and students of the Violet O. Jeffers Nichols Primary School, the management and staff of Best Buy Supermarket, Permanent Secretary Kevin Barrett, Shelley Liebert of the Ministry of Human Resources, and Jean Amory Sr. Inspire to Aspire, a Youth Month film, was produced by Early and David. The activities for Youth Month include Youth Day of Prayer, Girls Can Play Camp, a Youth Impact 12 feature interview on Good Morning SKN, Walking Tall Workshops, Youth in the News, a poetry writing competition, as well as a Grand Gospel Concert and Youth Rally on Friday, April 28th at the Cultural Complex. Still to come, St. Kitts and Nevis inducted into the UNECOSOC Ad Hoc Advisory Committee on Haiti. The details after this break. The people of Nevis have long remained connected to the gifts nature has bestowed. As an ambassador of this majestic island, it is my duty to encourage my people to nurture, preserve, and protect what makes us unique as a people and strong as a country. Welcome back. In further demonstration of St. Kitts and Nevis's commitment to the people of Haiti, during this period of crisis, the government of St. Kitts and Nevis, through its permanent representative to the United Nations, Her Excellency Nearest Dockery, has joined the Ad Hoc Advisory Group on Haiti. The group is charged with following closely and providing advice on the long-term development strategy of Haiti to promote socio-economic recovery, reconstruction, and stability, with particular attention to the need to ensure coherence and sustainability in international support for the country. The government's request for membership was endorsed by the Permanent Representative of Haiti and supported by the Permanent Representative of Canada, Chair of the Ad Hoc Advisory Group, who raised it during the plenary session of the United Nations Economic and Social Council on Wednesday, April 5th. The Ad Hoc Advisory Group is composed of the Permanent Representatives of Argentina, the Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Benin, Brazil, Canada, Chile, Colombia, the Dominican Republic, El Salvador, France, Haiti, Kenya, Mexico, Peru, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Spain, Trinidad and Tobago, the United States of America, and Uruguay to the United Nations. Ambassador Dockery says St. Kitts and Nevis being represented on this advisory group, the main committee mobilizing international action on the Haiti crisis, provides an opportunity to be in the room where critical decisions are being taken and to strengthen the group's efforts to address the humanitarian needs of the population, restore security and political stability, and devise a people-centered development pathway to reconstruction and good governance. St. Kitts and Nevis will work assiduously to help shape the parameters of international support in ways that put the interest of the people of Haiti first. The Nevision Association of Washington, D.C., NevDC, made a donation to the Alexandra Hospital on Thursday, April 6th, at the Alexandra Hospital's conference room. Levi Maynard of NevDC outlined some of the items donated. A few months ago, NevDC embarked on an effort led by Mr. Lofton Sargent to secure medical equipment and supplies for Alexandria Hospital. Thanks to the generosity of the Russell Residence Assisted Living Home in Bowie, Maryland, who donated the equipment and supplies, NEPDC was able to package and ship several medical items to Nevis. Some of the items donated are four hospital beds, ten wheelchairs, a triangular lift, five walkers, three ivy stands, and several pallets 
containing a variety of hospital supplies. This is not the first donation of, to the hospital that NIFDC has made, and I'm confident that this will not be the last. So on behalf of the president of the Division Association of Washington, D.C., Mr. Anthony Pemberton, and the entire NEFDC organization, I am delighted to officially present this donation of equipment and supplies to the Ministry of Health and Alexandria Hospital. Maynard then presented the items to the Minister of Health in the Nevis Island Administration, the Honorable Janelle Nisbet, who then expressed her gratitude to the association. On behalf of the Ministry of Health, and by extension the Alexandra Hospital, I would like to extend our sincerest gratitude for this donation. I know this would not have been the first donation of its kind from NFDC, and so we appreciate the continued partnership and commitment to making sure that you keep contributing to the Nivision public. These equipment, we can never have enough supplies to aid the patients here, and we appreciate you supporting the care in this. Minister Nisbet in turn presented the items to Dr. Floral Hobson Galloway, medical doctor at the Alexandra Hospital. She too expressed her gratitude to the association for what she termed a timely donation. Also present at the handing over ceremony were Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Shalisa Martin Clark, Assistant Permanent Secretary Latoya Jeffers, Hospital Administrator Gary Pemberton, Matron Trandrika Persad Wallace, and Assistant Matron Daima Golding. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. I am Michael Maloney. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, thank you for viewing.